Okay, good evening. So for today, uh, this lesson will look in particular what is a magma convection, uh, how the magma convection would move uh, and leads to plate tectonic. So what am I using here is actually the cross section of the earth, as you can see in this diagram. Okay, uh, imagine that the earth is sliced and cut into half. So this is the legend. Okay, the middle uh, round portion represents the core while the green layer represents the mantle. The brown layer here represents the lithosphere which includes your crust, while the outermost, the light blue color, would represent your ocean waters. So uh, using this, please take note, okay, this is a cross, once again, this is a cross section of the earth. So let's look at with the earth, what happens during the convection. So let's take a look at this. Um, I've inserted in the arrows to represent the magma convection current cells that will happen within the mantle. So please take a look at the motion, okay, how it moves. So if you notice, there are certain spots where the arrows represent is moving upward, rising upward. This is because the core heats up the magma that is at this region. So when the magma is uh, heated up, it will become less dense, it will rise towards the crust. And once it reaches the bottom of the crust, it will slide towards the left or right. This will create a pulling force and pull the crust apart. Okay, so this is also known as your divergent plate boundary. When there is two convection current cells that um, is moving towards each other, okay, this portion, the convection current cells is moving downwards because the magma is sinking towards the crop. These two portions is because the magma has already cooled down. Okay, it has spread, it has cooled down, so it becomes denser. Okay, and if you notice, there's this uh, subducting crust. Both uh, portion of the crust is being dragged towards each other. And this is what we call the convergent plate boundary. So once again, magma convection okay, is a driving force that moves the crust. How does the magma move? First, it's heated up by the core, so it becomes less dense, so the magma will rise towards the crust. Here, the magma convection will spread away from each other and pull the crust apart. This is a divergent plate boundary. When two convection current cells meet each other, the magma has already cooled down, so they would converge and sink towards the magma to be reheated again. So at this portion is what we call a convergent plate boundary. Look at the full label of this portion. So this will be the portion where sea floor spreading is happening, the mid-oceanic ridge. And this is where subduction occurs and forms your volcanic island arc and your trench.